Hello everyone, I'm Chef Sarah Todd and welcome to my home. I hope you all from G'day India love seeing my little taste of India here in Melbourne. So I, uh, when I was quite young, I used to enter these like quite random competitions in magazines, like write 25 words or less. And if you win, then you win a trip to, you know, somewhere or whatever. I was obsessed with them. Like I don't come from, a, you know, my mom is a single mom and, you know, didn't have a lot of money. So I ended up winning this competition to watch a fashion show in Sydney and I'd never been to the big smoke I'd never like you know been to a city or anything and I was 18 years old and I was watching this fashion show that I'd won tickets to and this lady came up to me and she was like are you a model and I was like no like I didn't even know that that's a job you know so she said look go into Chadwick's tomorrow tell them that I sent you and um, you know see what comes of it so I went in I was completely nervous like my lips were like chattering and freaking out and um, they took all these Polaroids of me and then they went you know into the office and then came back and they handed me contracts like on the spot I think it was just like unlocking this world of like travel and culture and food and you know I ended up going to um, London and New York and Germany and all these amazing places. I feel that, you know, a lot of people think that models don't eat and like, you know, they're basically starving themselves to be skinny, but actually you really need to understand food. You're basically like an athlete. So when I was cooking my meals, like I knew exactly what the macronutrients were going into these dishes. I knew how to balance a dish. And like I was, I was sitting at one modeling job and I was shooting 70 outfits in one day. Can you imagine getting dressed 70 times? <laughs> and I was like, I'd had my son at this point and I just remember thinking like, I'm away from my son and I'm not enjoying this anymore, you know? I was like, I'm gonna apply for Le Cordon Bleu, I'm gonna do it tonight. And I, yeah, never looked back. Like after Le Cordon Bleu, I um, ended up, this was in London, and I ended up saying, look, if I get into MasterChef, can we move back to Australia? <laughs> And so I applied for MasterChef and got into the top 50 and then, yeah, the whole MasterChef, MasterChef journey started. Um, so I, in MasterChef, I cooked quite a lot of Indian dishes. Alagobi. Yeah, Alagobi. <laughs> and honestly, when I, um, when it aired in India, when MasterChef Australia aired in India, I had like 50,000 followers on my social media, like overnight. I was literally like, I thought it was spam or something. Like, what is going on? You know, like, so I just remember landing off the plane, um, getting off the plane and like people coming up to me and recognizing me all over. I was like, whoa, like, you know, I just didn't expect it. You don't expect when you're going to MasterChef that the whole world is watching you. It's not just Australia. I ended up meeting um, a restaurateur in India and he said to me one day, I'd flown back to Australia and he called me up and he was like, Sarah, I'm standing in this property in Goa and I want to open a restaurant and I want to do it with you. And I was like, you're mad. Like, I'm not opening a restaurant in India. Like, you're totally crazy. And he's like, trust me, just come and have a look and you can make up your mind, you know. And I landed into Goa and I got to the property and it's this like magical spot where it's overlooking the ocean and you know coconut trees and like absolutely stunning and I was like okay I'm doing it. <laughs> It's like not a single spice, but I love chaat masala. Like it's, <laughs> when I, I made a uh, masala puppet for my friends for a dinner in Australia. And when I sprinkled it on, they were just like, what is this? Like, it's like magic. When I land in India, I feel like a certain kind of energy the moment I get there. And that's something that can't be replicated in any other place. It's something about the land and, that um, 
you know, being an India and experiencing that is so amazing. The culture and the love of food and how giving people are with their time and, you know, everything. It's, yeah, I have fallen in love with the country and love the time that I spend there. And so I always kind of go back to like my mum's dishes that she makes, you know, like the pavlova or banoffee pie or <laughs> she loves the sweets. Um, just like homely kind of food that we had growing up. Um, I think, I think I'd like to be remembered as, um, yeah, an inspiring person who has, you know, helped to um, bring people joy. But yeah, just to inspire, I think is, is the biggest goal. I think, you know, we want to, for my child, I want him to grow up and be proud and um, yeah, want to, yeah, be inspired by what I achieved. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah.